Good day everybody. Today we're going to learn how to install an extension on Magento. An extension is uh, similar to like a plugin on WordPress. It extends the functionality of Magento. So in this case, we want to install an extension that will enable this store right here. To have a, a different slider than the one that came with the theme okay so in Magento there are many extensions and they happen to have slider extensions so what you're gonna need is FTP access okay first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna log into the site this site here via FTP so if you're if you know how to do and know how to use a file transfer protocol like FileZilla or any one of your choice. Go ahead and do that. Put in the host name, whatever your host name is. So this host name, let me find it. Let me get this here. So this host name is right here, and then we'll put in the username. So whatever, if you're using something like cPanel, whatever your cPanel username or password is, is what your username and password is to log on to the server, okay? Now we're going to have to look for the application that uh, we want to install, the extension that we want to install. So this extension, again, this is a slider extension, so we're going to be installing this, okay? So what we need to do is we need to go back we need to find the Magento, find Magento on the public HTML folder on the remote server. Okay, so this is localhost. What you see on FTP is the remote site. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to look for public HTML. So let's find it, and here it is right here. Okay, so this is where your Magento folder is. Are okay. So we logged in via FTP, and now we need to find the Magento folder where we actually found the Magento folder of in public H underscore HTML. Now we have to upload the app, upload the app JS skin folders from a local host. So. If you're using FileZilla, you have to go to, some people like to put their apps on the desktop. I like to put them in my application folder. So you just have to look to wherever you put the folder. So let's see where it is now. I'll hit the refresh button. See where it is now. All right, we gotta look for it. Okay, so here it is. Now we're gonna upload the app JS and skin folder, and this little thing here, the .ds store to public underscore HTML. Okay, so to do that, you just go like this. You, I'm using a Mac, so hit Shift and down to select all. You want to right click and you want to upload all at once. Just say yes. I'd like to overwrite everything. Say overwrite, overwrite that. Overwrite that. I just always use this action. Must be a big file, so wait till all of that uploads. I also want to make sure we upload this as well. Okay, 
and then there's one more other folder we have to upload but this is just specific to this extension which is right here but normally app js skin okay so we're done there you want to cancel you want to just minimize this go through your checklist so after the installation is complete you want to log in to the magento admin and flush the Magento cache. So let's log in to the Magento admin to get to your Magento admin. It's whatever the domain is, forward slash admin. Hit enter. And we're already here. And once we get in here, we're gonna go to the cache management system here. We're gonna select all of this. We're gonna flush the Magento cache. Next, what we're going to do, like this says, is we're going to log out and log back in. Log back in. Now we have to check our work. So Magento dumped the cache. So it's not storing any of the old pages. And now let's see if the extension that we um, installed is there. Remember, it's the extension, the AW slider. AW stands for a head work slider. So we go to system and we go to configuration. Let's find it. It should be on the left hand side. So here it is, the image slider. Okay. So this is how we would, with this particular extension, this is how we would be building sliders. Okay. Now, when you get your extension, um, Make sure you read the instructions on how to use it. Some extensions have uh, lengthy instructions on how to configure. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much, and you have a good day. You can also follow us on Twitter at GoPryWeb.